The Miami Dolphins wrapped up their exhibition season Saturday night and now face the task of turning 80 players into 53 and the quarterback room is a hot topic, Skylar Thompson. Teddy Bridgewater. How about both? The question on the minds of many fans is whether or not Thompson, a seventh-round draft pick in last April's draft has shown he belongs on the final 53. The answer is clearly yes, but in a league where three QBs are rare, the Dolphins have to decide if they can fit him on. Thompson shined in all three of his outings and was the highest-rated quarterback in the NFL through the preseason. Teddy Bridgewater was far less impressive but his volume of work in the preseason was also a lot less compared to Thompson. It would be easy to say Miami should keep Thompson and trade Bridgewater but that wouldn't make sense. While Thompson has looked good, Teddy Bridgewater knows what the NFL is like when it is for real. He has played well over his career but has dealt with a lot of adversity. He is a solid backup to Tua but we also realize that if Thompson sticks, Bridgewater will gone after the season and Thompson will have that backup role to himself. The problem for the Dolphins is getting Thompson on the roster. Mike McDaniel told the media that he has a roster full of NFL players but not enough roster spots. Keeping a third quarterback who will not be active for Sunday games, not play unless it is an emergency, takes a roster spot away from another running back or offensive lineman, linebacker, or cornerback, Miami fans have been debating and even arguing over the validity to keep all three but most prefer to keep Thompson over Bridgewater. Honestly, there is an energy on the field when Thompson is running the offense but is it really smart to cast off Bridgewater for someone with basically no experience? No, but it doesn't make any sense to not keep Thompson on the roster, Miami has an almost zero shot at keeping Thompson if they release him. He will almost assuredly not clear the waiver wire, if there is a universal thought among Dolphins fans it is that the Dolphins need to keep him on the roster and that really isn't the debate. The debate is on how to do it. It has been decades since the Dolphins had to argue about how important it is to keep a certain quarterback on the roster. Who would have thought it would be about the backups? Miami doesn't have to make the decision yet. They have until Tuesday but it's a decision that fans will be holding their breath for. Roster cuts are right around the corner for all 32 teams in the NFL. But for the Miami Dolphins, this fine Sunday in August appears to be the perfect time not to cut anyone, but to make some additions to their roster. The Dolphins opted to shore up their defense and add Trey Flowers to their roster this afternoon. Flowers has spent the past three seasons with the Detroit Lions after winning two Super Bowls in his first four seasons with the New England Patriots. Flowers should shore up an already solid Dolphins defensive line and give them another versatile pass rushing option in the process. During his stint in New England, Flowers was one of the most underrated defensive linemen in the game. Flowers never has posted gaudy sack totals, but he was versatile enough to move all over the line, and could hold his own in both pass rush and against the run. Flowers struggled during his time with the Lions, and was ultimately released earlier this offseason. It's somewhat surprising that no other team wanted to take a flyer on Flowers until now. But the Dolphins decided to add to an already strong defensive front by adding Flowers. Flowers won't start for Miami, but he will see the field in different situations that may suit his strengths. There wasn't much Flowers couldn't do during his time in New England, and while he was somewhat underutilized in Detroit, Miami could try to tap into his versatility and see how many different ways he could help them. Flowers may not be the player he once was, but he's still an NFL-caliber defender. And the Dolphins made a shrewd signing here. And who knows, maybe Flowers can put together a bounce-back season that will make Miami look like the smartest team in the league for adding him right before the start of the season.